Welcome to another two minute tutorial session. Today I thought I would describe how I go about making those images that kind of have that glow and that soft look yet retain the sharpness. Um, you see this a lot in alpine uh, photography, particularly of the photographers from the Pacific Northwest and um, I kind of came up with this uh, technique which is a little bit homegrown and found from various forums. Um, but basically um, once you have a background layer, uh, this image was taken in Copasca and I've done all the editing up to the point of sharpening and creating this glow effect. So this, uh, instead of having a background layer, you may well have a layer stack with a merged image on top, but the principle uh, is what I'm going to go through today. So you can duplicate your background layer or the top layer twice using Control J. And I'm going to name the top layer Blur or glow and the next layer sharpen. Now keep in mind that I'm going to be exaggerating uh, the effects quite significantly just so you can see them on the screen but if we click off the, the top layer and see what we're doing to the sharpening layer you can use many ways to sharpen but my preference is to use um, high pass so other high pass now usually I would only go to about 1.5 pixels for an image of this size but so you can see the sharpening effect I'm going to make it 3 and usually at the blend mode I would use um, overlay but just so you can see the effect more vividly I'll use a, a vivid light um, blend mode so if we zoom right up now you can see that um, without sharpening and with sharpening. Looks pretty harsh though and that's what the uh, benefit of using this uh, so-called blur layer is. So we go to the blur layer now and have a look at um, a blur mode which I usually prefer to use Gaussian blur. I do it quite aggressively maybe 15 to 20 pixels and sometimes the color management can change a little bit so I usually change it to luminosity mode so it just affects the brightness okay. and now you can move your slider to the desired opacity depending on what you want the image to look like or how soft or glowy you want it to look I would usually use about 15 to 20 percent but just so you can see the effect I'll make it 35 percent and I'll zoom in Okay, so I'll click off both layers now and you can see the gradual effects. So the original image with the sharpening looking harsh and then with the blur once again uh, softening that um, uh, sharpening layers look yet retaining some degree of sharpness and you can see uh, the bright areas uh, have a nice glow to them. Now the finishing touches to this would be to apply a layer mask to both the blur and sharpening layer and uh, put in the degree of effect that you want of both in various parts of the image. For instance I would want the sand to look quite granular in this picture so I would mask out um, the blur effect on the sand and retain the sharpening effect. So that's it in a nutshell. Until next time, thank you very much.